Are you guys watching George W. Bush? Yeah. He's promoting his book of paintings of military veterans. Yeah, I mean, he's been on Kimmel, Ellen. Uh, he's, he seems very approachable. You guys didn't get enough of him during his eight years as president? I mean, I guess it's just after seeing him on TV so much. He, he just seems very reasonable right now. Reasonable? The guy's an idiot, all right? He started two ridiculous wars. He tanked the economy. He choked on a goddamn pretzel. All right, he's, he's far from reasonable. All right, Kevin, why don't you relax for a second and have a seat, okay? Listen up. It's like I told Matt Lauer. I mean, I believe we should have a welcoming immigration policy. And as far as freedom of the press, I think freedom of the press is indispensable. I mean, I didn't always like the press, but they kept us in line. Well, I'm impressed that he was able to pronounce indispensable. <laughs> but he's hardly the only Republican to speak out against Trump. Yeah, but the president almost never criticizes another president. In eight years, he never criticized Obama once. Now we're a month into Trump's presidency, and already, boom. I, just watch. I bet you he's going to say something else you agree with. Yeah. You know, I love Michelle Obama. She's great. She loves my sense of humor. I like anyone who likes my sense of humor. I think she's awesome, and I'm hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I like his laugh. Well, that's not, no, no, that's not controversial. I mean, everybody likes Michelle Obama. What? Are you kidding me? Do you not remember the terrible things Republicans said about her for the past eight years? Ooh, I think he's about to talk about his paintings. Oh. Uh, this one here is a face. Mm. <laughs> uh, and this one is another face. Ooh, I like that one. And this one is me, naked in the shower, looking at my face. Oh, eight hours. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. The paintings are they're so warm and friendly. Yeah, I, I, I feel connected to them. Guys, I think I like George W. Bush. Mm -hmm. No, no, we're just romanticizing the past, okay? We can't forget all the terrible things he did as president. Uh, I don't know. I mean, in comparison to what Trump's doing now, it, George W. Bush kind of looks like a reasonable guy. Mm. You know, as much as I like Adele's 25, uh, I think the groundbreaking work was done in Lemonade. I believe Beyonce should have gotten the Grammy for Album of the Year. Oh, he sounds like my Facebook wall. I'm surprised he's heard Lemonade. When did the president get so woke? And I'm gonna say something else. This may be controversial. I think LaCroix is crap. It's just a drink that a bunch of hipsters said was cool, but it's no better than Canada Dry. <laughs> he shares my pain. It's like he's speaking to my soul. Guys, I think it's time to admit we may have been unfair to George W. Bush. Mm -hmm. No, no. I bitched and complained for eight years on MySpace and Facebook before that was even a thing, okay? My anger must be validated. You know. I bet it was Cheney who did all that. Oh, you're right, it was that evil Dick Cheney that took our sweet W and corrupted him. You're right. It had to be Cheney. W would never go into Iraq by himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, I bet he would have instituted a single-payer healthcare system. Oh, and won his own Nobel Peace Prize. Boom. I believe that not only should marijuana be legal, it should be mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he's speaking directly to me. Easy, high times. I believe it would be all right. To, it is always all right to have pizza for breakfast and cereal for dinner. See, <laughs> this is what I've been telling my mom for years. I think it is important for everyone to experiment sexually in college so you know where you end up on the Kinsey scale. <laughs> See, Nick? Now we can officially say that that trip to Santa Barbara we took, we know that we are one on the Kinsey scale. Oh, come on, man. We're 1.5. All right, all right. <laughs> you know what, guys? It's weird. I feel absolutely no hatred for George W. Bush. I gotta say it. He's the man. Jesus. I mean, I forget why I opposed him so much <laughs> in the first place. Mission accomplished. There it is. Oh, All right, he's an yeah, idiot. Yeah, he's a dumb slur.